What's good, everybody? Salute. Top of the morning. Ah, the news only gets crazier. Salute to Pull No Punches, DOA from the control room, Humble G's. Salute to Charmaine, Miss New York. Salute to C-Double, Indie Animal. And salute to Mr. I'm in the building. Salute to my team, the Bar Affiliates, Official Riot Media Group. Married to the Bars, Baz, Bar You to Death, Battle League, and On Hoodie. Salute to everybody this morning, man. Verbal Wars on Gates of the Garden. Word Sport. So, let me show y'all. The CEO, the CEO of Bed Bath and Beyond jumped to his death. The CEO from Bed Bath and Beyond jumped to his death, committed suicide. Um, and it's it's funny uh, to, to, to think of suicide because I was 87, October. Um, the stock market crash and a lot of these millionaires and rich people jump to their death. They jump. Let me show you guys something. Right? Jump from the 18th floor of New York City Tower. The man, because at first they didn't know. They didn't know who it was. Top of the morning, C-Dub. Top of the morning. They didn't know who it was at first. They had no idea. Who committed suicide? Somebody jumped, right? The man who jumped from the 18th floor of the Jenga Tower in Manhattan, New York, September 2nd, has been identified as Gustavo Arnal, the chief financial officer of Bed Bath & Beyond, the US-based chain of retail stores. Calls regarding the jump came in around 12.30, September 2nd, as a New York Police Department spokesperson reports. The incident occurred just two days after the company announced plans to shut 150 of its 900 stores and lay off 20% of its staff. Arnold reportedly sold more than 42,000 shares in the company, which quite often identified as a mean stock for 1 million a little over two weeks ago. He sold 42,000 shares for a little over 1 million. So let's break this down, guys, right? 42,000 into 1 million shares, all right? I'm going to tell you, $10 a share would be 420,000. $20 a share would be 840,000. These shares were somewhere between 22 and $24 a share. This is why he sold so many, but got so little. 22 to $24 a share, he sold 42,000 and only got a million, right? He owed, he right, at the time, he owned 267,000 shares in the company with a value of a little under 6.5 million. That's insane. That's insane. He joined Bed Bath & Beyond in 2020 when the firm was already struggling because of COVID. Wow. Prior to this, he was a CFO at London-based cosmetic giant Avon and had also been at Procter & Gamble for 20 years. Procter & Gamble is a company. Procter & Gamble owns a lot of companies. Procter & Gamble owns a lot of companies. Look it up. Procter & Gamble owns a lot. We, we could Google it. We could Google it right now. 
Procter and Gamble owns a ton of companies. I've seen that name more than enough. Procter and Gamble, very well known consumer products company owning major brands such as Crest, Gillette, Pampers and Tide. Company has been wow. Yeah, Colgate, Palmolive, Church and Dwight, Unilever, they own a lot. Fixident, Align Probiotics, they own a lot. They own a lot. Wow, they do own a lot. Okay, crazy. All right, so let's move on. It's just crazy. I just wanted to point that out. Stock market crash in 87. Please look that up. A lot of people jumped. A lot of people jumped. I just think that, you know, all the stresses in the world, money should never put you in a situation where you want to jump. All right? Let's get to these two. What are they up to? What are these two up to, right? Drake and LeBron, they're being sued for 10 million, right? By the former head of the NBA Players Union, Billy Hunter. Billy Hunter claims he's the holder of exclusive legal rights to make any movie about the Colored Hockey League in Canada. The lawsuit found Hunter claiming Drake and LeBron used their products to sign a deal behind his back with the authors of a book on which their, quote, Black Ice documentary is based. As a result, Hunter says he he was shut out of the process. Hunter claims he had to deal with authors George and Daryl Fausty for $265,000 to secure movie rights to the story of a Canadian hockey league for black players. Hunter noted that despite his alleged deal, the two went and created a deal with James and Drake. Hunter is seeking $10 million in damages and a percentage of profits from the documentary. Now, now essentially, you can't necessarily blame Drake and LeBron James because if they had no knowledge of what was going on, you got to look at it. They, okay, we're offering, you know, um, there's a deal for, he, he said he had a deal with the authors, the two brothers, George and Daryl Fawcett, for 265000 to secure movie rights to the story of this hockey league, right? But Hunter is claiming Drake and LeBron used their production companies to sign a deal behind his back with the authors. Okay. Okay, cool. So Hunter had a deal with the authors, but he was also in talks with Drake and LeBron. This is kind of strange. This is strange. We'll see how this one turns out. Love, life, and loyalty is the motto. Stay safe, stay real, stay true. You rock with me, I rock with you. Stay tuned. I'll be back with more.